Hello everybody, my name is Sasa Jovonen uh, and in this demo we're looking into change the look capabilities within the Viva connection. So some of these features we actually demonstrated in some of the functional uh, videos pre previously, but this particular session uh, we kind of really focus on the theming options what we have within the Viva connection and also a bit about the, the uh, image header section, image selection and how does that reflect in the desktop and also in the mobile. So the change the look feature is now fully rolled out worldwide um, so anybody can take advantage of that one as within their Viva connection deployment and Viva connection baseline features are completely free so anybody can use them in any tenant within the world uh, including out-of-the-box cards and all of those capabilities which are available so let's have a look on what this means in the practice Cool. Here we are in an example uh, deployment uh, where we have where we have uh, a custom dashboard with some nice chart cards available and stock prices uh, drawn there. It's a pretty high stock price, um, and also some example resources. And we can see that it's the theming here is pretty green. Um, it's a kind of a default setup what comes uh, from the default installation, but we can start adjusting things. We can already see that there's a, a background image which has been changed, uh, but we can modify this experience based on the company branding. So let's see how that actually works in practice. So first of all, as a Viva Connection operator, I will have more access and options available, which I can adjust. So if I now go to Change to Look, I can actually see all of the different uh, Change to Look features which are available. Right now, you only see theming there, but we're looking into introducing additional options there in the future. Currently, uh, we can see also the, the custom select uh, the current selection team, which is the green one. We can also see through, uh, from your organizations, and these are actually custom themes which have been installed to this particular organization. So they're not specific, they're not out of the box, they've been added to be available based on the company branding at some point. And then we have those themings which are from the Microsoft. So these are giving options of, of adjusting the layouts and, and uh, the, the setups based on the out of Microsoft provided theming. We can actually see the preview uh, on the car, uh, on the screen as well. So I can flip between the colors. So if I now put, for example, the orange, we can notice that all of the, the icons and colors within the site or within the Viva Connection welcome page are getting adjusted, including the resources. So we get that company coloring in place. And of course, this, together, this one together with a selection of the uh, image for the header section or the hero section, uh, we can actually really make cool looking uh, experiences. Of course, you can upload your company specific uh, design here or company specific picture which is relevant for you, or you can use some of the stock images uh, if you find a suitable one for you. And we can a bit uh, reposition that one. For example, what would be the nice one? That would be a pretty nice one. Cool. Set a focal point over there and clicking save. And we have a nice experience which is based on the company color and theming. Now, I did mention that in my case, in this tenant, we actually have custom themes. So how would I now uh, add my own theme into a planes if none of these out of the box Microsoft provider themes uh, are suitable? And how would I adjust what's available in here if you don't want uh, all of these options to be available? Of course, uh, the Viva Connection operator is a specific role. Not everybody can adjust the company-wide settings in Viva Connection, but again, you can adjust what themes are available uh, in here and also introduce your custom themes based on the company uh, interest. So how do we do that? Uh, is that we, we basically use, uh, first of all, uh, the Fluent UI Theme Designer. This is a Teams Designer uh, capability which will give you the needed assets or definitions with the color. And this is incredibly simple. So for example, let's say that we adjust this one to be uh, a bit more color, not just black. Uh, I'm adding here uh, color coding, uh, let's say uh, F over there. Now it's a pink green, so we can adjust the primary, primary colors to be based on that. That's a pretty uh, a different color, but I can adjust, for example, the green be the primary color, and then the text color being the by default the black, or adjust that to be a bit uh, darker gray, and then I can export the theme. What you actually get there uh, is then uh, a definition of the theme, either in code, JSON, or in a PowerShell format. And you can use this definition, which you're getting, to add a custom theme in. Probably the easiest way to do that uh, is by far to using PowerShell option. 
So that is the powerful uh, PowerShell uh, variables, which we're getting. And then we can actually uh, go to our documentation and have a look on how do we do this. So of course, in here, we're also calling out the theme generator tool. We're also calling out uh, the PowerShell commandlets, how to do that. And you can use uh, also APIs to make this happen. There are out of the box themes, uh, and then there are uh, the custom things which we're able to add in. Now, a few things to notice on the PowerShell commandlets. Uh, we have the add SPL theme uh, commandlet available. This does require that you are a tenant administrator to add the additional theme in. Uh, as long as you have the right permissions, you can easily do that. You can add themes, have a look on the existing themes. Uh, you can uh, remove themes, and then you can hide the out-of-the-box default themes. And this is basically the setting where you hide some of the Microsoft-provided themes not to be available uh, for end users to use, typically in a SharePoint site, because again, in the Viva connection side, uh, the operator role is a bit special. It's not like everybody can set the colors. So then we use the PowerShell, we install a custom theme in, and then at that moment of the time, we can actually go change the look functionality, go to the theme, we can see the custom themes available, which have been installed. As an example, we can take that cool purple one, saving that one uh, on the page, saving that one, and it will reflect the purple uh, look and feel here. We can see the icon and the colors and all of that getting adjusted. And let's actually adjust also the top color based on that. So, and again, obviously you would have uh, some sort of company specific branding image uh, in many cases, what you would use here, but for the smaller mid-sized components, this could be a, absolutely a suitable option. So let me actually add, select that a nice image over there. And voila, we have a nice looking custom branding uh, within the site as well. Now, how does this look then in a mobile? So in a mobile, you can see that the same change to look settings and the header icon, as you can see, is actually visible here. So you can actually really make the mobile reflect the company brand as well. And the theming settings, the color settings, which was set to purple, are visible here as well. This actually goes to the level where, as we're implementing custom cards and experiences and quick views uh, in here, for example, for submitting time off, you can see that those buttons are also rendered in the theme color, like within the dashboard. So that was a quick recap uh, on the change to look settings and features uh, which are now rolled out worldwide. So you can send, change the theme based on the theme settings which are inherited from SharePoint Online and you can include your custom themings uh, based on your company brand as well. And of course you can set the header section and an image uh, for your dashboard which is then visible also in the mobile. So the theming settings, what we do in the change to look are reflected in all desktop and tablet and mobile experience. Now, for the future, a uh, few things. Uh, we're recording this in April 2024, uh, but within pretty soon, uh, you will actually also see custom font supports coming up in the Viva Connection. That's something which is rolling out as part of the brand center capabilities, uh, uh, also for SharePoint online side. So that's gradually getting rolled out uh, starting from April 2024 uh, towards the end uh, within the summer and, and autumn. Uh, and we'll see more settings and capabilities, of course, uh, from the branding perspective in the both uh, in all of the different experiences of Viva Connection. We're always looking for feedback and ideas based on your input. So please, please, please do not hesitate on providing us feedback uh, and ideas and, and comments around all of these capabilities which we have available in Viva Connection. Thank you for those advance.